Hey there everyone, this is your Yankee Messiah here. Um, I'm going to get into that train wreck of a game that I saw tonight between the Boston Bruins and the Carolina Hurricanes tomorrow. Um, expect me to go on a huge rant on that game. Um, I'm not backing down. But there is some breaking news in the NBA. Um, so the Denver Nuggets, Boston Celtics, and San Antonio Spurs I'm making a three-way trade that includes uh, Juan Sancho, Juan Sancho, uh, Her Gomez going to the San Antonio Spurs, um, Brian Forbet, Forbes going to the Denver Nuggets, and the Boston Celtics are going to get PJ Dozier and Boy the Boy, and um, I gotta say this, Brad Stevens, man, um. We're off. We're off. And everyone thought that Brad Stevens was going to sit out this trade deadline and not do a damn thing. Well, you guys are fucking clowns because I got some questions here. Now, why did the Boston Celtics trade for two injured players? Okay. Because I was doing some research on fucking online. So, Boy the Boy um, uh, had surgery on his foot. And this was um, today, believe it or not. And he's going to be out for 8 to 12 weeks. And they were trying to get this dude traded to the Detroit Pistons. And that was voided last week because he failed the physical. Now, there's an answer to this. Because the Boston Celtics acquiring two injured players is effectively a salary dump for the present. So it allows teams to cut about $4 million in salary. And that's in voiding tax territory. And maybe get a look at some intriguing young guys once they get healthy. <clears throat> Assume a second round pick as well. And... If getting under the tax was important, I guess that <coughs> I guess that does the trick. It's not like Wancho was gonna play anyways. I mean, in fact, most fans, I mean, hope that he would never play. So if that means that boy or boy is now a Boston Celtic for this moment in time. I gotta say, it's pretty cool. Because I'd rather have that filler than Wancho. Um, PJ Dozier, let me say it like this. The guy isn't too shabby either in terms of a young prospect. And as former Celtics legends, I'm cool with him too. I mean, granted the fact that the dude just taught his ACL in November... So, I can't imagine that he's in any sort of future plans for the organization. Now, the Celtics, they still have an open roster spot. And at least we know that Brad Stevens is up to something. I mean, it would be pretty crazy if the only move that we see him make is a salary dump, a player for a guy who just had foot surgery... And another guy who just had a torn ACL. And that doesn't seem all that great at a time when they need as much player talent as they can get. But uh, Boy the Boy is someone that we all thought the Celtics would take when he kept falling in the draft. And when healthy, I mean, I mean, I've seen this dude play. I mean... I've seen the video out there, and this dude is freaking awesome. And he's also had a spotty start to his career. Uh, he's a seven-footer. You know, the guy's going to be coming off a of foot surgery, but hey, whatever. I mean, it's a salary dump and a look. Understandable. Now, let's see what can be done to bring in players that we can actually see play this season. So I just wanted to give you my fucking quick thoughts on that, guys. Um, 
like I said, I'm I'm gonna be hopping on here tomorrow to talk about the Boston Bruins. Um, expect me to go on a rant. Until then, this is your Yankee Messiah out with a breaking news video. Peace.